everyone, it's Beth from Sweetheart's Hair. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with a lovely Bailey who's seven. She's my youngest daughter. She's going to be my hair model today and my eldest daughter, Abby, is going to be the videographer. There's a little hand. Uh, because we're still in lockdown, I'm sure you guys are as well, but you know, we're allowed out more than once now for exercise, so you know, we're getting there. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I thought I'd do a useful video today. So. I get a lot of requests about, can you do a tight braid? How do you do a tight braid? It always goes baggy at the nape of the neck. I always find it really hard to add the sections. So we're gonna do a cheat today, Bailey. We're gonna be cheaters, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do a really tight Dutch braid, but the cheaters way. Should we get started? <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay guys, so I've done a little bit off camera. So basically all I've done is I've done some really small little ponytails into elastics. Okay, now we're not doing a pull through braid, we are gonna be proper braiding. But what I've decided to do is to get these elastics really tight and I'm gonna continue these ponytails right the way to the nape of the neck. And that way, when I show you how to braid this bit, you haven't gotta worry about adding the sections in. You haven't gotta worry about it being neat and not little bobbles in it and little bits sticking out. And you haven't gotta worry about it becoming baggy at the nape of the neck because we're gonna do all that work before we even start braiding. So the product I'm using today is the Sexy Hair Wax Spray, just so that we don't have any flyaways. So I'm just gonna kind of miss that. And then I'm just taking my comb and just taking a really nice slice of hair and then you guessed it, you're just gonna pop a little elastic. Okay guys, I'm on my last little pony. And this is where I want you to get this last elastic right on the nape of the neck. So that the braid looks super tight. So I'm just going to release those ponytails down, guys. And that is what you're left with. A little mohawk. So you can see I've decided to go up with my strands. So instead of coming this way, I've gone quite severe and gone up to start with. Because I'm going to try and give it a sort of mohawk braid look. Okay guys, so we're basically going to be doing a Dutch braid with all these sections here But if we just start a Dutch braid there, I feel like it's going to, so if you can see that elastic It's just not going to be the effect that we want So I'm going to try something now, I don't know if it's going to work, but bear with me I'm just going to get this little looped hair tail Now you can just make a hole with your fingers if you want, but I'm just going to push that through You okay there Bill? Yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to feed that through like that and the aim of the game is to just pull this little pony back through and then going to pull it all the way through like that so all we've done is just kind of brought that hair forward and now I'm going to break this section into three, okay? So normal Dutch braid but without having to worry about smoothing all those side bits out. So we've got our three sections. So you've got your middle section, one outside section is going underneath. That's your new middle section. So this outside section is going underneath. And now we're gonna just start adding in these ponytails. So my outside section comes underneath the middle. And now with this ponytail underneath, I'm just gonna split it in half and add it in. So that's my new middle section. Outside section comes underneath rest of that ponytail, I'm going to add it in. Underneath, 
This ponytail underneath is going to go into two, add half of it in, take the other side underneath and add the other half. And then all I'm going to do guys is just get a little grip and just push that through the front bit there just to hold that braid down and now if you want to you can start to tease this braid up so all you're doing guys is just these little ponytails here is what you're adding into this braid and like I've said before probably said it too many times now because we kind of dealt with these bits, we can pull this braid as much as we want and nothing is going to become loose at the sides. So just continuing that braid down guys, taking those sections underneath Start your pulling out if you want to, if you want that bigger braid, and then we can do some more at the end. Do the unknown, following where the love go. Always say three words first, always seem to get hurt, never think for I'm talking. So on these last few ones, just make sure that you stay in at the nape of the neck. So just using that last ponytail to really anchor this braid down. Now what I want you to do if you're making this braid big is just spend a few minutes now just slowly teasing out this hair. Maybe it's make believe, but I feel like it's always pulling me in the heartbreak. Yeah. And don't forget, guys, you can also try and make a little bit of height. So you can make it wider, but also in the centre by just teasing up those sections. You can also give this style a little bit of height. So it's like a 3D effect. So that is the end of our video. I hope you like it. Um, I hope you appreciate why I put the hair into ponytails. Uh, you can just do a normal Dutch braid if you want to, of course. I'm going to do a little spin for you. Feeling my own heartbeat, running into the unknown, following where the love go. Always say three words first. So thanks so much for watching guys, hope you like mine and Bailey's cheat braid. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and also if you are on Instagram and you do want to recreate this please use the hashtag cheat braid and then I can find it and then if I really like it I can repost it. Um, and so I'll see you next week probably, uh, I'm not kind of keeping to my schedule at the minute, I'm just kind of you know, videoing when we can, aren't we, Abs? Yeah. What school work yeah. and gymnastics and all yeah, anyway. So I'll I will be doing another video, not quite sure when, but very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching and bye.